Today was supposed to be such a nice and chill day. Today is my first day off from work and I thought it's gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna film video for you guys. I'm gonna uh, work on my art, current art order that I just got that I will be working on a canvas, not on a pot. So this is so exciting itself. But life really have a nice way to choke around. Okay, I see Agnes. So Yakari just swallowed a toy yesterday and it looks like it's getting worse and worse. So we are at the vet and ho hopefully he won't need a surgery, but most likely he will. So right now Agnes is coming with Yakari on a car. We'll go to the vet, do a couple x-rays with some kind of medication because the toy is made from rubber, so it's not visible with x-rays. And then hopefully we'll receive some nice news and not and won't need a surgery because it's it's so pricey and it's so scary i don't know guys today was supposed to be such a good day and it's not it's really not it's so spooky at first i came alone to the vet just you know, for consultation because yakari is really reactive dog to other dogs so i did not want to make any kind of trouble to the vet but he said urgently bring the dog. So I just came with Yakari. Our car also broke. <laughs> it's not starting, so we need a rent one. <sighs> Here they are. A few moments later. All right, everyone, welcome. Like for reals, for reals, welcome. Or hi, hello. Uh, this video probably will be all over the place so i'm really sorry about it but you just probably saw the intro of me all being freaking out about yakari uh, it's been about three hours later since last time you saw me and we just came back home i just ate my breakfast at 1 p.m <laughs> but it's okay so honestly we're still not sure what the heck is going on with yakari where the toy in his in intestinal in in his belly where it is because uh, we tried to look with ultrasound with doctors but it wasn't visible so right now we gave him some kind of paste to eat and we need to wait until 7 p.m and then we'll go back to the vet's office to make an x-rays because it was not visible because it made out of silicone rubber so it's not that visible so hopefully this will help so for now we're just sitting here waiting stressing and just freaking out it's not how things should be we should stay calm and just find some kind of activity for ourselves until the 7 p.m will come so i decided you know what uh, my fiance will stay with my puppy with our puppies and he will take care of them look for them while i will take a bus and i will go to the local big box store because i just received my first ever um, custom paint order but this time it won't be on a pot but it will be on a canvas so i'll be looking for a canvas and some paints and some brushes because this is something a little bit different i'm freaking out <laughs> i'm really nervous there's so many stuff to be nervous about lately and just you know what i need to calm my flipping teeth down so i'll go to the to couple stores and i'm not sure if i'll be filming in all of them but in big box store of course i'll take you along because I will just have this like meditation session and go through the house plants, see what's new, see what's fun and I will take you along. So we'll go plant shopping, we'll go art supplies shopping, I'm not sure if that's interesting for you but I will film a bit of that as well probably and then we'll see what happens. So most likely I'll, f I'll go ahead to the shopping part, film there come back home, edit this video, upload this video, and then we'll go to the vet's office. So in this video, we won't have the answers. How is Zakari? Will he need a surgery or not? And stuff like that. So I'm a bit sorry for keeping you hanging like that. But you know what? In the comments, if you're curious, you can ask me and I'll answer because probably today afternoon, everything will be like clear and sounds hopefully so keep your fingers crossed right now as you're watching he's probably already out of the surgery maybe or out of the x-rays um i have no idea guys <sighs> you know sometimes you just think like wow wow it was a full week of calmness <laughs> this is how it feels this is how normal people live their life <laughs> wow <laughs> but anyway yeah you know what? 
let's stay positive, let's stay happy, let's go plane shopping. Maybe we'll find something cool. Who knows? Maybe the universe will give something positive today as well. So let's go and see for ourselves. Let's go. Look at this cute mug I just found. Aww. It's really called my name. Oh my gosh. I have so many mugs already. This one's so cute. God dang it. I still have your Harris medicine in my nails. Dang it. If you know, you know. <laughs> At this point, I'm so surprised I'm still not addicted to any kind of substance. But today, I can feel that I would love a glass of wine or something. Look at this, I just found sport variegation. This is a bird of paradise or strelitzia for 37 euros. And look at it. Look at this leaf. This is for sure a variegation. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I mean, the rest of this plant's leaf do uh oh. Okay, the rest of this plant's leaf do not seem variegated, but this is the newest leaf, so who the heck knows? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a fun start. I mean, I won't be buying this one because it's pretty big, big already and I already have one in my collection, but still so freaking cool. This just made my day. I was really not expecting that, but okay. I feel hopeful. Let's see what else I'll find. <laughs> right, right now I'm in Kalatia section. Let's see what fun we can find. This one looks so fun. I love how the leaves are so small but at the same time so bright. Ooh, beautiful. And looks so healthy. For 9.79. This is fun. Oh, look at this one. 22 euros but Once again, what a centerpiece that would be, right? I mean, they do not look really healthy Sorry for the noise But cute, this is cute Ooh, talking about bright colors, look at this alocasia This one, or is it a coloc- what? Okay, well that's something new 22 euros Okay, yeah, this one saw some better days, but at the same time, look how beautiful it is. Oh, oh, gorgeous. This is gorgeous. All right, I also need a couple bags for my upcoming reportings. Bam. One more. The toughest part is that I will be going really far away till the bus stop, so... Yeah, this will be heavy. The things you do for planes. Oh my gosh. Look at this discounted Strelitzia. Right now it's only 37 euros. And it's massive. But I think it's attacked by some kind of bugs. It's too far away to see, but yep. Nope, not touching that one. Okay, let's go to this jungle. Ooh. It's been a long time since I was so excited, especially that variegated Strelitzia really made me happy. We have some golden potos on poles with beautiful sized leaves for 62 euros. What the heck? Heck no, let's leave this section. I'm too poor for this. Oh, right. I see Hoyas. I see Hoyas. Huh? I think this is Hoya Australis. 1329. That's actually cute. I'm never a big fan of trellises like this, but it's still flipping cute. Oh my gosh, these shelves are full. Oh, it's gonna be a long video, guys. 
Oh my gosh, look at this. I think this is a Crimson Queen. Look. Oh, wait. Look at this new growth. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. Okay, this one is 13 euros, guys, for this size of Hoya. Wow. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. I'm excited. This one is flipping expensive. 9 euros for this size, baby. Heck no. Oh, look at this crassula. Look at this fragile blooms. Ooh, so adorable. Oh my gosh. My heart is melting, guys. Wow, so many. Right now, after I saw that sport variegation, I cannot stop looking for more. This is almost like an addiction or something. A bunch of spider plants. 1849, not horrible. Look at those babies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at these ones. Okay, these ones are always expensive. Yep. Always. Conurbus plants here are so expensive for some reason. This Gasterius looks cool. Oh my gosh, look at that. So out of Jurassic Park. Okay, and they're free. Nice. Love that. Oh, these ones always catch my eye. These are expensive. Very same plant I bought, Streptocarpus. Oh my gosh, <laughs> forgot the name. So I bought very same plant in grocery store last year for I think two or three euros. Look at this, so fun. Looks like turtle shells. Oh my gosh, look at this Kelenko. 12 euros, awesome, awesome. Look at these clovers with those beautiful teeny tiny blooms. Oh my gosh. Six euros, seven euros. That's so cute. Oh, look at these small spider plants. Ocean, that's an interesting name. So cute. For two twenty nine. Okay, finally, better price. <laughs> what else? We have a bunch of philodendrons. Okay, this one neon is for. Oh my gosh, seven euros. No, that's expensive. What the heck? Okay, more. Oh my gosh, these ones are definitely cool. Look at it. Twelve seventy nine. That's fun. Okay, have some monster the Sony eyes for. Drum, drum roll please. Seven euros. Nice. I approve. Okay, I left my card somewhere. I gotta find it and let's go further. Flip and further. The sun is shining like crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at this philodendron's hope. Cute. 469 I mean for this cute bush heck yeah <gasps> look at this shine of this begonia leaf oh my gosh this is beautiful and this begonia rex is for 11 euros oh if I could only keep you alive oh my gosh once again still have variegated syngoniums this time they're 27 euros but you can see that there are many labels and when first time I saw it about two weeks ago, time I saw these variegated syngoniums in the store, they were about six euros. So somebody found out that they have a treasure for really cheap and decided to change the price. But for those who are quick enough, congratulations. Okay, we're in a flipping cactus section. Let's check it out. Oh my gosh, this mellow cactus always call my name I love this bloom on the top oh looks cute some euphorbias for six euros guys look at this monster this is a sculpture already how fun is that look at the size oh my gosh this is fun small babies lots of old man cacti but nothing too too cool these ones looks fun not sure of the name, of course. Ball and mix, what the heck? <laughs> okay, sure. Sure. Okay, well, these ones are not looking great. Sorry, guys. Oh my gosh, look at this cute, cute pot. It said that the 
picture itself is not really nice quality. It's still cute. Oh, adorables. Okay, so we have some smaller cacti. These ones look fun. But expensive. What the heck? Okay, this gymnocalysium actually looks amazing. Look at it. Three for price of one euro fifty nine. Hmm. Okay, this one actually actually what wait am I found did they found something cool? I love this one as well. This one oh my gosh golden barrel cactus is going nuts. We also have this fair cactus that looks fun. I mean and this one looks fun. Okay, I'm hooked. Okay, I like this one too. And this euphorbia. This one when my letter is about to bloom. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll get, we will be back here, of course. We're gonna go back. Look at those mammillarias. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is sweet. You are 35. Heck yeah. Uh-oh. Call the plant police, guys. Oh, oh. I'm leaving this. Many huge cacti. Okay, let's have a little break from cacti. Let's go into this section. Okay, here are like a million of different orchids. Look at it, it's insane. But what's the most fun? There are some Pafepedilum orchids. For those who are a bit longer on my channel, you know I am a big fan. But this foliage doesn't look fun. The price is okay, but the foliage, it's kind of boring. Oh, still so fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, right now, I won't lie, I'm looking for sport variegated leaves on every single foliage having plant. <laughs> Is it silly? Probably. Guys, look at that. Oh my word. Seven euros, but just look at this fragile blooms. My heart, my heart. Oh my gosh, they're so cool. Oh my gosh, but expensive, but so flipping cool. I mean, look at this. Oh my word. Oh, this is calling my name. Dang it. We have a problem. Oh, look at these ones. These ones are fun. Look at these blooms as well. Okay, they're free. <laughs> oh no, casualty. Look, these ones are looking really cool. Oh my gosh, look at these blooms. This is a bloom paradise for sure. Holy nuts. We have some cool ear plants compositions. I mean, I love these bottles. It's so cute. So cute, oh my gosh. Looks a little bit sadistic, but still pretty cute. <laughs> these ones, ooh. Heck yeah. These ones. That's cool. Okay. I love plants. Oh my gosh. Now, this time I won't be buying these beautiful orchids because it's minus 10 degrees of Celsius outside and I'm going far away to the bus stop. I'm really afraid it might just die off on the way. At least the blooms just will fall off. So I'm not gonna risk that. All right, right now I am in a pot decoration section and guys. No naughty thoughts, no naughty thoughts. Holy nuts guys, look at this mountain. This should look cool when they're all opened. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Look at it, that's insane. I just imagine how many cool fairy gardens we could do with all of these colors. Look at these guys. Wow. This really reminds me of spring. Look how beautiful these blooms are. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. A few moments later. All right, everyone, I'm back home. It actually took me a while, but I changed my mind. I'm not sure if I filmed that I picked up three cacti and I was like, oh heck yeah, I'm gonna... Wait, is, is the mic on? Is it... Psh, psh. 
Okay, so I was like, heck yeah, I'm gonna do a fairy garden with cacti. I feel so inspired. It's gonna be so great and fun. And then I was going through some, you know, blooming plants. And you know what? The need for colors and the need for spring really won me over. And instead of cacti, I decided to leave them in the store for somebody else. And I picked something else. And that something else is something out of my like comfort zone <laughs> these are the plants that i decided to buy this actually is the pot that inspired me so this really reminded me of fairy or oh, sorry of garden answer and you know laura's projects with similar plants like this one and i thought you know what i'm gonna do something similar to that so i bought one tiny spider plant look at it so adorable so cute right i also got two Wait, how they're in English? Whoops. <laughs> uh, whoops, let's put you back. Whoops. Hyacinthus, Hyacinthus. Is it the same as in Lithuania? So I bought two of these. One blue, one pink. I don't know why, but these colors looked fun to me. And I decided, and I tried to look for the chankiest ones. And of course, oh my gosh. Of course, I bought this like bucket and inside in here I have simple nursery pot so you know it won't be reaching to the very bottom of the pot so there will be like an ear pocket where the water can stay and the plants won't be rotting inside of this like uh, metal pot slash bucket <laughs> so you know what I will be doing or working on a fairy garden that is gonna be inspired by spring and since these are gonna be a beautiful colorful blooms I thought this will look like such a fun project like this is something you can imagine hopefully if you have imagination like good imagination so I thought I will add some kind of moss on top and also I want to DIY not sure to sculpt it or maybe make it out of something else. I want to make some kind of little chicks um, or maybe chickens because it's it reminds me of Easter and Easter reminds me of spring. So I want to do something fun and colorful with this one. I mean, the bucket itself looks like such a pop of darkness. So I want everything else on top to be like extra colorful, extra like vibrant and eye-catching. And this should be such a fun project. So I will be working on that later on on my channel. Uh, this spider plant cost around 2 euros and each of these hyacinths was about 60 or 70 cents. So this is like such a nice deal. Nothing too crazy, but at the same time will be so, so cool. And I love how they smell when they're, when the blooms are open. So I'm really excited for that. And these are all of the plants I bought today. Of course, I also bought a bunch of other stuff that I will need, like uh, colors paint brushes and stuff like that that I will be using. Uh, I actually did not found a canvas of the right size so I'll be looking further for the perfect size because this this order gonna be perfect just like all of the pots and stuff like that so still gonna be working on that. I love that somehow colors are really attracting me lately probably because I'm so tired of gray weather and gray colors all around me and I just want to put color everywhere I can so cannot wait to see what my mind will come with some chicks and stuff like that so stay tuned please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more plenty content and projects and fun stuff with plants and also I oh, want to see something else oh also update on Yakari I was out for two hours I think maybe over two hours and during that time he was kind of okay he was sleeping but he also threw up so worried as heck still not sure what kind of update gonna be in the evening we still have three hours to kill before the vet's appointment so of course i'm gonna keep you updated let me know if you're curious in the comments and we will chat about it and right now this is probably where i'm gonna leave you i still need to go ahead and edit this video upload it before leaving for the vet's office so the day is just running like crazy and at the same time i'm super grateful but I'm also so tired. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. And before leaving you, let me teach you another language lesson. Okay. Okay, since I was talking about chicks, like the babies of the chickens. Are they called chicks in English? I think they're called chicks, right? So let me teach you how to say chicks in like singular. Singular chick. 
in Lithuanian and in Russian. If you want to say chick in Lithuanian, you need to say vishchukas. Once again, vishchukas. And if you want to say, and if you want to say chick in Russian, you need to say tiplonek. Once again, tiplonek. Fun fact: This is how my mom used to call me when I was small baby. I mean, at least until I was 16. <laughs> so yeah, fun fact. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful and good flipping day. I dare you, have a flipping good day. Almost cursed. <laughs> uh, subscribe to my channel, comment under this video, like this video, and let's flipping go with our businesses.